Hey, Walt with MyCameraGrip.com, and um, here's part two on uh, measuring our camera. Um, so we're going to pick up where we left off before, and that's with the tripod hole. Um, and you see on the webpage, it says tripod hole X uh, centered on lens. So uh, I didn't mention that before, but um, so we measure X, Y, and Z dimensions. Um, so X would go from the left side of the camera and then go to the right and measure the distance that way. A Y measurement would go from the back of the camera and measure forward. And a Z measurement would go from the bottom of the camera and go up uh, toward the top of the camera. Um, so in this case, um, our tripod hole is not centered on the lens. So we need to measure that. And again, we'll just take our calipers pull the left jaw up against the side of the camera, move the right jaw over to the center line of the, of the tripod hole, and we get about 60. So we'll put 60 in for that. And then the next one is tripod hole Y, and it says centered front to back. And if you look at the bottom of this camera, um, we can even measure it here. So we've got about, yeah, 13, 13.4 millimeters or so. I don't know, I'm, I'm not doing so great here. <laughs> uh, 12 and a half millimeters there. If we come over here, that same 12 and a half millimeters. So, and you can kind of see there's the two plates that make up the camera body and then we got a seam in the middle there. So um, we'll just leave that blank. And then the tripod hole size um, most, most, most cameras are going to be a quarter inch. Um, the other option is three eighths of an inch. Um, but if your camera uses that, great. If not, just leave it at a quarter inch. Um, and then next we're going to measure the rounded camera corners. Um, so most cameras have rounded corners like this one does here. And, um, what we could do is just leave all the, those fields blank if we want to. And what that'll give us is a two millimeter radius. Uh, let's measure this one here. And so if we go there, so, you know, what we want to do is kind of, I don't see anything square good here. So, um, you know, if you, if you kind of notice where the, straight edge of the back of the camera starts curving right there. That's where we want to measure to. Um, and so we can bring that up there. And that's about 7.6 millimeters. Um, it's better to be on the lower side than the higher side on these because let's just think about it. If you go, if you put in zero, you're going to get like a totally squared off corner um, so the you know the walls on the camera plate will be squared off like this caliper is kind of squared off and then as you get larger and larger numbers you'll kind of pull that corner in and approximate the curve of this camera so even though it said you know 7.6 something um, I'm just going to put in 7 um, and that'll be kind of safe um, and then the Y radius, so that was the X, the X radius. The Y radius would be going this direction, again, from the back of the camera toward the front. Um, and you can, visually, you can see that's the same. And then actually on this front uh, corner too, same thing. The, this radius looks to me to be the same as that radius. So I'm just going to leave the... Y radius blank, and then put in seven for for the. Uh, <laughs> and of course, I messed up. I measured the left back corner at first, so that's the seven, and then the left front corner. So that's the left back. That's the left front. So, but still, it ends up that the measurements are the same. Um, and then we go right front corner. So we'll come over here to the right front corner, measure the X radius, and that's going to be really about the same as the other side there. Uh, 
seven, seven and a half. So we'll just put in seven. Um, and then the Y radius, um, you know, it's really going from the center line of the camera up to the front like that. So we'll do like 12 and a half millimeters. Um, so we'll do seven and 12.5 and then seven and 12.5. So the right front and the right back corners, again, those, those radiuses look the same to me. Um, so we put those in and then I think that's it for now. So, okay. So I think we're done with this part and we'll pick up on the next one. Thanks.